Good morning. 10 o'clock, Monday morning. It's time to start moving. Let's start really slowly. It's always good to do that nice, slow warm up. Remember, stand tall. Shoulders back. Smile because you're doing something good for yourself. Have your water nearby. Have a chair if you need it for some um, balance. And uh, we're going to walk for 25 minutes. We start slowly and end slowly, but this is the best way to do. Low kicks, please. Start practicing. Breathing in and out. Sometimes when I'm talking, I forget to breathe and I have to kind of be saturated so that I remember what I'm doing. Trust you all had a good weekend. Such nice weather. Let's go back to walking. Got a lot done. Worked in the yard. Went for some walks. Worked in the yard. Sanded my patio, which took a lot longer than I thought it would. Let's do some side steps. And you know, I was moving a lot, but that kind of work, it was work and I was using my body. It wasn't, um, I guess, the best aerobic activity. I was, I was using everything, but to get the true aerobic activity, I think we really need to focus for that 25 to 30 minutes. And that's what we're going to do today. <clears throat> we're going to speed up a little bit, move our hands a little bit higher. Let's go to the side, side, side. Get that waist involved. A little faster. And back to walking. Let's do some toes backward. Toe, 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 toe. Bring them up as high as you can if you need to hang on to that chair. If you've been following me, you're probably tired of this same routine, same things I'm talking about all the time. But these are the important things. If we want to get the most out of our 25 minute walk, then we're going to try to follow this as much as we possibly can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and walk, walk, walk. Let's go out, 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 in, 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 in. You can make like this. I was going to use weights today, but I thought, no, I have to golf tonight. Leave this, it's a Monday night. Looks like no rain. Looks like I might get my first golf in of the season. Have a golf since last beginning of October. So, good thing I'm golfing against my own score and no one else's. Okay, let's pick those feet up. Look like we're going somewhere. See a lot of people out walking and a lot of them are taking a nice leisurely stroll and that's great. They're out, they're getting that fresh air doing something good for themselves, but there's always a but. I hate when we always have that but in there. You're doing something good for yourself, but you can do something even better for yourself if you risk walk. Just pick up the pace a little bit, get your arms more involved than usual, taking deep breaths. They say, you should do 30 minutes of aerobic exercise every day. And if you do that, there's a very good chance you could be pretty healthy. And 30 minute stroll is one thing, but I'm not sure it's that good 
um, I'm going to roll it. It is, but it's not the best it could be. Brisk walk, brisk walking pace can help you maintain a healthy weight. It's going to take a while to get there, but once you're there, then it will be easier for you to maintain. And that's important the older we get. Sometimes we slow down and that weight just seems to collect. Flex here, flex here, flex here. We want to get rid of it if we can. Try to maintain that healthy weight because we'll be so much happier. We're not going to have so much weight that we're carrying on our knees, on our hips. Wrist blocking can help prevent or manage high blood pressure. Maybe get you off some of those meds you might be on or thinking that you may have to be on. It can also, let's kick, can also prevent or manage heart disease. Just get it circulation, getting your heart revved up. It's a good thing. And for those who have type 2 diabetes or are prone to it, wrist walking. Okay, down again and up. Trying to pick up the pace just a little bit. Do what works for you. And walk, walk, walk. All those things I just told you are very important to me. But I find when I walk, I really get in a better mood. I can look around and uh, see the beauty around me. I pay attention to things I don't really notice when I'm in the car. I don't have to worry about traffic, really. So I can focus on things that make me happy. Um, yesterday, what I was thinking about on my way into church, I was thinking, I have so much going on this week. How am I ever going to get it done? And then the minister said, we are given enough resources per day. And so today, I have the resources to get through today. I don't have to worry about yesterday. I don't have to worry about tomorrow. I have enough resources to get me through today. So I even think about the other. And that just cleared my mind. So after hearing that sermon, I went for a 6,000 step walk down at Lakeshore Park. Fit it in. Appreciated how beautiful it is down there. When we were when I was teaching, I loved to mow the lawn. And uh, it was a push mower. We had some apartments and I mowed the apartments. I really loved it. People would say, what are you doing that for? It was a great form of exercise. Plus, I did a lot of thinking. And if I was having a problem with someone while I was mowing, I would hash that out. And I would come up with all these great responses to remarks. And then, by the time I finish my lawn, I won't be upset anymore. My best lesson plans came when I was mowing because it was kind of mindless. I'd mow, turn around and come back. Instant gratification because I would see I'd accomplished something. But I was planning my lessons. So you can kill you know, two birds with one stone when you are walking. Back. Back, 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 back. Arms up. You're throwing all these things in. It wouldn't be fun to just watch me walk and huff and puff for 25 minutes. So I do like to jazz it up a little bit. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And walk, walk, walk. Okay, we're going to try the farmer's step again. Farmer's walk. Go up and down. Okay, you can keep doing that. I cannot. I still have that heel problem. I think I'm getting over it, and then all of a sudden, it's back again. Let's do some leg lifts. Good. I hope doing this does put you in a good mood. Do this today. Maybe go for a walk later this afternoon. I was thinking I'd walk and carry my golf clubs, but it's my first time out, so maybe that's not a good idea. Next week. Okay, we're going back to the side. to do all the exercises that are going to benefit me. If you have something specific you want to focus on, let me know. I'll do the research, see what I can find out that we can add into this. Should really practice bending over. I was planting so much. When I got up, oh, my back hurts. Then I was sanding and I thought my arms would hurt, but actually it was my back, just the way I was leaning over. Today I get to glaze. I think I have to be down to do that too. But I was sore. But I got up, I moved, I did some walking. I did some twists and turns, and pretty soon that pain was gone. Push, 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 push. I do, I do warm up. I'm surprised that I follow my own advice on that, but I knew I was going out to work. I said, okay. And after I've been working for a while, I thought, you know what? I want a few more plants for this. So I grabbed a box and I walked down the street to the nursery. And I said, whatever I can fit in this box will be comfortable to carry home. So when I got down there, I picked out five things. They fit in a nice little paint box and uh, I carted them home. So that was one way. I wasn't gone very long maybe half an hour at the max. And uh, kit, kit, and I got a little bit extra walking in. And I accomplished something. So as much as you can do walking. Today I had to pick my boss up. She was dropping the car off for service. And we got there a little bit before she did. So rather than sit in the car, Play with my phone. I get out of the car and I started walking around the parking lot. And it was it was good. It's a great way to start a beautiful morning. I got about 10 minutes in, and um, yeah, that was an extra 700 steps that I may not have achieved today. But I take advantage of the situation. We're gonna do sides again. Bunch of little golf skirts I want to be able to wear. 
haven't even tried those yet. This week, my goal is to pull out summer clothes. I usually have them done by this time because I'd have been in Florida for a month in the winter. But meeting goes, and my clothes are still in hiding. I'm afraid I'm going to pull them out and they're not going to fit. But they'll fit better today than they would have a week ago. Let's go up, up. glance at the clock, I think it's almost time for us to be slowing down. Went way too quickly. I feel like I could go another half an hour. You'd probably turn me off though. Let's go back, 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 and walk, walk, walk. More deep breaths. Slow it down just a little. This will have about a 20 minute brisk walk today. I'd like to start with a brisk walk. I know I do my warm up, but I'm afraid some of you wouldn't. So that's why we do the warm up and we're doing the cool down. Slow kicks, keeping hands below the heart. Letting everything slow down. Our breathing's a little bit more regular. Right now we're gonna say, okay, what did I like about that walking? What can I do later in the day? Put some music on and um, do some of those steps. Again, incorporate those arms. The faster you walk, the more benefits. Don't walk too fast that so you can't keep up with yourself. You don't want to have labored breathing. You want to be able to talk at a you know pretty regular pace. Let's go out, 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 out. No kicks to the front. We just got started and we're ending. On Wednesday, I'm going to give you some dates to mark on your calendar so that, um, and we'll do that before we get started. So plan on a full half an hour on Wednesday so that you can tune in to our walk with the dock. So you can tune in for our lunch and learn, which is on June 2nd. Okay. Deep breath. Up. And down. Up. And down. Up and down. While we're doing this, I want to give a shout out to my daughter. I called her and said, hey, you have the morning off. Please turn this on so I have at least one viewer. I hope she did. Better see your mom's moving a little bit. When I go to visit her in Connecticut, she sees me eating. I do other things. Okay, okay let's turn. Lean into that front. Oh, keep your shoulders up. Deep breath. Feel that. Feel that, especially my calf today. And I'm going to go back. Feels so good. Way. Lean into that front and then back. Be 
Reach for the sky. Deep breath in and out. And down. Don't forget to like Asheville County Medical Center on Facebook. And um, you can see everything that we're doing here. We are keeping pretty busy. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you at 10 o'clock Wednesday. Have a great day.